So what's going on guys? Welcome back here to another video. In today's video, I got something pretty cool for you guys. It's gonna be a little project um, we're gonna be doing. We are gonna be building a kayak trailer, um, a DIY project here. Um, we got a pretty old kayak trailer here. It actually was, I think, like a jet ski trailer or something like that. And we're gonna transform that entire thing into something that we could use to haul the kayaks around. Um, I just picked up another kayak here. I'm gonna be doing that video pretty soon of a walkthrough and um it's a little bit too big for my pickup so i needed a trailer to move it around i figured i was like hey let me just build something i found this one super cheap on craigslist picked it up now we're going to go through the entire process of stripping it down and making it into a functional kayak trailer so let's go ahead and give you guys a little tour of the trailer it's not too much now but it's going to be really good at the end of the day so let's go ahead and give you guys a little tour let's go all right guys so there you have it it's a nice, simple, bare bone trailer going on here. Um, as you can see, it's missing the fenders, which I have those. I ordered those online already. It's missing the lights. Um, it's got a little bit of rust back here, as you can see. But I got a cool idea how to reuse some of this um, tongue it has here. It's a pretty long piece. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to cut a piece off the front here or actually cut a piece off the back here, some, some of the bad stuff here, and then kind of slide it back. So we're gonna actually make this trailer shorter. Um, right now, I think it's sitting at like 16 feet and I don't need it to be that long. Actually, the place where I keep my kayaks, it's only 15 feet. So I need something that's about 13 feet or so. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it, move it back here and get rid of all that rust, clean all this up really good. It's got a lot of surface rust going on in the, um, in the in the leaf springs here so we're going to clean all that up really good clean up all that surface rust paint it up make it look really nice we got some new fenders for it the tires are actually in pretty good shape so we're going to keep the tires um make sure we put some air on them but as you can see we're going to be building a rack here with some carpet bunks so we got one kayak on the bottom and two kayaks are gonna sit right on top here. So it's actually gonna be a pretty cool little setup here. We're gonna make it out of wood. Um, it's gonna be stored inside, so it's not gonna, you know, be out in the element all the time. So it's, I don't, I'm not too worried about being, you know, rotten or anything like that. So we're gonna do that and um, yeah, this we're not gonna need anymore. So we're definitely gonna remove this, take this thing right off. And um, we got the jack, we're gonna paint all that up and yeah. Got a pretty cool little project here for us. Um, get a good look at it, cause next time you guys are gonna see the complete product, it's gonna be completely different. So as you can see, the trailer is in pretty pretty rough shape. It's not terrible, but it does have some rust. We gotta brush all that off, paint it, make it look nice, and um, clean everything up. Change some hardware on it, change some bolts, but. It's gonna be a little bit of a process. We're gonna work on it throughout the day today. Right now, next step is we're gonna get some measurements, get some measurements of the uh, wood we're gonna need. We're gonna go pick up some wood, some carpet, um, some hardware that we're gonna need, some stainless steel bolts. I think actually I'm going with galvanized bolts. I'm not even gonna go stainless steel on this. It's not gonna be in the water at all. So I, I don't think we have a reason to go stainless steel, but galvanized is gonna be, um, and yeah, just pick up some stuff we're gonna need. We're gonna go head to Home Depot. So let's go ahead and hit the road. Let's get this uh, little project started here. Let's go. All right, so what's going on guys? We just made it back. We got a bunch of supplies. We got some wood. We got all the bolts that we need for this project. Yeah, so I got my dad here helping me today. He's gonna be doing some work here with me. We're gonna be getting this trailer all rigged up and ready to go. Um, last process is gonna be painting it. We went with a flat black paint. We're gonna make it look nice and sleek. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna be doing that too. But let's go ahead and start cutting some stuff, some rust off, rebolting things where they go. And then we're gonna start framing out the actual structure that's gonna hold the kayaks. I'll explain to you guys how we're gonna do that there. So let's go ahead and get started, let's go. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I did get some nice fenders for it right here. And um, I also went ahead and ordered on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead, I ordered these two things on Amazon and some other stuff too. I'm gonna go ahead and link, leave some link in the descriptions below where you guys could purchase all this. 
But um, these are some nice, beautiful LED lights here that um, I ordered off Amazon here. And look at that. Nice LED lights. They're going to go right in the back here. They're going to be really, really nice. So we're going to go ahead and rig all that up here too. So. All right guys, so we have a little quick update here. Want to update you on the status of the trailer. So, all right, so what we got going on, we marked the spot where we're going to cut this. We're going to cut this about 30 inches from the back here, get rid of all the rust. So we got a little um, jack here holding the back piece on. And as you can see, we cut the bolts off and we're going to basically just slide this off so we could cut it off and then slide it back in and have a fresh piece in. Then we're going to take off a lot of the surface rust get it all cleaned up and we're gonna start preparing it for paint afterwards um as you can see we took off a lot of the hardware the new hardware for the fenders are gonna go in pretty soon and yeah we'll continue on we're gonna take this off now and then cut it so let's go All right, guys. So as you as you saw, we had to bring in the truck, hook up the truck to the trailer, and actually wiggle wiggle it out until we were able to get the main beam off of the back of the trailer. Just because of how much of rust it had, we weren't able to do it by hand. We had to hook up the truck so it could add a little bit of um, extra pressure on there. So let's continue on with this. We're gonna cut the beam now. So let's go. All right guys, so what's going on? So quick little update here. So we got the trailer pretty much set and as you can see, we got the framing pretty much done. It's, um, it's all it's missing right now are the bunks, but we're gonna go ahead and um, get it painted here before we lose daylight here. The sun is setting pretty quickly, but as you can see, we got the brackets for the um, fenders mounted. We got the entire framing done. So now basically we're gonna have four bunks um carpeted bunks go on here two on top two in the bottom here and it's gonna house basically one kayak in the bottom and then two up on the top here so that's basically the setup we got going on we're gonna go ahead and paint this thing we're gonna paint it flat black it's gonna look nice and clean and um and then we're gonna go ahead and attach the bunks to it so right now this is what we got going on we're gonna go ahead and um, get it ready for paint paint let's go So 
So as you can see, we ran out of daylight yesterday, so the project ran into the next day. Uh, but we got it complete. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the completed trailer and how it looks and how it's gonna work, how the setup is. Um, I designed it perfectly for the kayaks I have. So you could just customize it to whatever dimensions you want and basically do it to um, fit your needs. So that's the nice thing about doing a nice little project here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what we got as the completed product here. So let's go. All right guys, so there you have it. The completed kayak trailer there. As you can see, we went with the flat black paint. I think that looked really nice. There you go, get a full view. Coming back here to the back, we have um, some bunks in the bottom here. This is gonna house one of my kayaks and then I got some bunks a little bit larger in the in the top here. This is gonna put the two other kayaks up here on the top. Um, yeah, so you could see it right there. Pretty nice little clean setup, nothing too crazy, but we just wanted to have something functional and something that worked really nice. So. There you go. Yeah, we got the um, nice LED lights right here. They worked awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description below. Got them where I got them. Same thing with the fenders. Make the tires look really nice. Um, I'm able to stack three kayaks on here. So that's exactly what I was looking for. So there you go. That's awesome. All right guys, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little project series. Uh, they're always fun for me to just um, get out here and do a little project. Um, my dad definitely helped me on this one. So huge shout out to him. Um, use all his tools and stuff like that. So it was awesome um, being able to work on this little trailer with him. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below if you have any questions of um, any of the process that I did to make this little trailer. And as always, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.